Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and today I want to do a video that's a little bit nuts and bolts. Actually, it's about nails and hammers. So it's kind of like a pun, but you never would have gotten it because there weren't any nails in the scene. I'm tall. What do you want to say? Sometimes nails get bent. Sometimes nails get bent. That's a great way to start it out. So these are some nails that sometimes got bent. These are old reused nails. I got a whole bucket of them right here and uh, I'm putting this, this deck down. Now, most people, most sane people, would just throw this out, but um, I like to recycle nails as best I can, and in SHTF, it may be all we have to work with. So I'm putting that down this deck, and I've got one more nail to put in here, and I'm gonna do it with one of these random weirdo ones. Now, this would not be my first choice because it's an incredibly weird nail, but let me get something that's pretty, pretty bent. Let's see, well, this one. This one here is pretty bent. As you can see, it's got a kind of a ding in it right there, kind of mushed up. Now normally if you went to hammer this thing in, you'd start going in maybe and then it would bend in the, in the side there. And then uh, this rusty nail. Yeah, it's very uh, large. These are straight. Uh, uh, um, sometimes these... Uh, I may have to cut some of this out. So the first step uh, with these are, careful with that, just can pinch your fingers. Kids and tools. Uh, the first step is to try to get it as straight as you can. And what I do is I put it down on the edge of a board and uh, obviously this is the kind of thing that you do when you have not too many nails but a lot of time. So as you can see it's straighter but it's still not perfect. And that would definitely bend if I just tried to drive it in as it is. If I tried to do it. Maybe there's some people that could but I can't. So that's where I've got this tool. This is just a pair of vice grips. Kind of a, a larger pair. Um, and what you do is we get the nail started. This is where it's going to go in. Now, if I just kept doing that, it's going to bend over because it's already kinked and stressed. So what I do is I take the vice grips. Oh, hold on one moment. Let me just get this part done. I'm going to grab it right under the head of the nail, clamp it down, and I'm going to use this to help guide it in. I'm going to be banging down with the hammer and then pu sort of pulling up with the vice grips and giving it some, uh, some directional help, kind of keeping it straight as it goes in. You want to watch as this goes in? Here we go. So tap, tap, tap. So I got it all the way down to where the vice grips were just about touching, or I hammered them in a little bit. A little bit of the nail sticking up. Well, it's just a, it's a scrap bucket. You shouldn't stick your hand in there, though, because there's all these rusty nails in there, okay? So don't don't put your hand in. I'm going to finish this nail off. Can you keep your hand out? You can, you can hold, how about you hold the big nail? Okay, be careful with it, it's sharp. I'm going to hammer a little more. I'm going to finish this up. So there we go. So, taking nails that are pretty crazy, I could do this one, too, uh, and, uh, and putting them in. I'll do, I'll do it one more time so you can uh, take a peek at how you could do a really crazy nail. Okay, so here's this really wiggly, messed up nail. So the way I'm going to start this is we'll start to get it straight one part at a time. So we'll start there. And you can notice I don't really care about whether my deck gets a little dinged up. If you do, you can use a piece of scrap wood. Okay, it's already getting a little bit straighter. Now we'll do this part up here. This is, a, this is where I say you have the head of the nail just off the edge, because if you're up like that, it's going to get all... Well, although in this case, actually, I've, I've had good luck when I start this to have the head actually up there, because it helps to kind of grip while it spreads out in the proper direction. Oops. Maybe like that. Ooh, there we go. Okay, already getting straighter. I'm going to finish it up a little bit. Obviously, this is the kind of thing that you do when you have not too many nails, but a lot of time. So now, this guy could go right in. Um, I don't really have a place to demonstrate that, but I've got this piece of scrap wood right here. So I'll put it right through the scrap. Get it started. And then, it might be a little tricky because the scrap wood is free floating. We'll see. So, put it there. Okay. 
So you can see, if I wanted to, I could easily finish that nail through there. And this one was an incredibly crazy nail. This one started as a letter C, practically, and we got it in there. So if you don't have a lot of good nails, just a bunch of junk, and you have a little bit of extra time, this is something that you can do uh, to make use of a resource that most people uh, throw out, really. Uh, I think the only other... You don't look at me. No, you're doing something secret? I think the only I'm other thing... I'm going to hide and seek me. Okay, he's going to play hide and seek. Uh, I think the only other thing I've sometimes used this stuff for is like is metal reinforcement when I pour concrete. But sometimes I'll just throw a bunch of this junk in there as a little bit of rebar, cheap rebar. But you can also use them as nails. So, is this anything you've tried in the past? Do you have any other construction techniques and, and tips that are uh, similar to this kind of thing, where you're taking junk and turning it into something very useful? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you have any experience uh, or any questions or anything like that. Thanks for watching.